everyone and welcome to my review of Bloody Cross Manga Chapter 17. So basically this chapter starts out with Nao and Hanibira fighting off some demons pretty easily actually and then trying to figure out how to get past the barrier before them. Hanibira stating that there's a total of 108 locks in all and that he has the, secu the uh, security codes for each one of them but that they'll have to input all of them separately. However, after taking over and unleashing some powerful ass spell, Nile does manage to get them to basically force their way through there, saving them a shit ton of time. Once they're inside, Nile ponders why the security was so damn low, and Hanibira claims that it's because high security isn't really needed. Normally, the only ones who are allowed to get at God's inheritances are God himself self, god candidates, and those with extremely high resistances. When now questions well, what will happen if any normal person gets a hold of them, Hanibira says that they'd be completely consumed, first their soul, then their flesh. Once the two of them gets back with the god's inheritance that they collected, which is still a mystery for some reason, they're greeted by Suduki, which causes a mildly humorous scene be between uh, and Suduki and now to occur. Now rubbing Suduki's shoulders, really? I don't fucking know anymore. After a brief scene of Suduki basically insulting Tsukimiya to no end, claiming her to be incredibly greedy and bitchy, although I would have used stupid in that description if you know what I mean, Tsukimiya shows up right behind him. Of course. What are the odds, right? claiming that Hanabira told her to come. And I think we all know where this is leading to. After that, a little while later, we're, we cut to a scene with Hinata, or no, with uh, Nao and Tsukimiya walking, walking together, and Tsukimiya gets a call from Hinata, but quickly hangs up. On the other end, Hinata gets Makino, supposedly a member of Arkanda, to join and talk with him, basically. After their talk, they both smell poisonous gas and then jump straight out of the building, glad that they survived. Also, we get the picture right off the bat that Makino just doesn't like Hinata for some reason. I get, I wonder why. After that, both of them delivers a piece of God's inheritance, whatever the fuck it is, to Satsuki, after which Satsuki scolds Hinata for not taking out Tsukimiya when he had the chance to. Unfortunately, and I seriously mean unfortunately as best as I possibly can, the, their conversation is interrupted by Momose who's delivering a message from Masano. At the same exact time, Tsuduki gets the very, the, 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 the very, the very same exact information and relays it to Hanibira. Very soon, God's 4th, 5th, and 6th inheritances will appear simultaneously. After that, Masano and Satsuki are talking in private, something about Satsuki want wanting to destroy the future, which I don't fully understand just yet. After that, their conversation is interrupted by several female members of Arkanda, one of them whose name is Kuki, K-U-K-I, who bends down and bites Satsuki's finger, which he seems to enjoy, I guess? I don't know, maybe it's a fetish. <sighs> that was the lamest joke I've ever told. After some more gloating about Satsuki wanting to become God, of course, which we kind of already knew, and that failure will not be tolerated this time, why the fuck was it tolerated before? That basically, excuse me, ends this chapter. <sighs> So, what I think about this chapter? Well, eh, wasn't too fond of it. It was definitely a lot, really slow paced, but since there's three inheritances that are supposed to appear at the same time, I'm guessing that pretty soon we're going to have a lot of action. I'm hoping that the, I'm hoping that they start going after them in the next chapter, okay? Because, you know, we've had a couple chapters with very little action. Like, the only action in this chapter was the, uh, Beginning. I'm not saying that every chapter needs to have action. That's not what I'm saying at all. But I'm hoping the next chapter will just get right into the, into the next three inheritances. All right. Although I am kind of interested to see how they're going to do this, though, 
since there's three that were supposed to appear at the same exact time. And supposedly, I think we're supposed to be led to believe that Arconda is a pretty large organization, so they could probably send out three pretty large teams at once, but we're pretty short in number. We only, you know, there's Tsukimiya, now Suzuki, and Hanibira. All right, that's it. I mean, I don't think they'd want to send just a team of two and then the other th two on their own, you know. Or send one to each and leave one at headquarters. You know, I don't think they want to do anything like that, so I think it'll be kind of interesting to see how they settle this. And that's basically it for this review. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review of Bloody, Bloody Cross Manga Chapter 17. See you guys after you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.